Hello, Donna from Photonic Health. Today I wanted to talk to you about the art of red light therapy. So you have probably been studying and reading and all of the scientific data and all of the medical terms and this very left-brained type stuff because it is a medically proven type of therapy. Today I wanted to talk to you more about the right brain, more about the heartfelt part of red light therapy. And I like to call it the art of red light therapy because with anything, there's always a science and there's a um, order of things. However, there's also the part that a person can take and be more intuitive with it and let their heart guide them to uh, doing specific treatments. And after all, red light therapy is 100% safe. So this is a favorite topic that I like to talk about. So a lot of people ask us or ask me like, well, why did you choose that point? Or why did you go there? I happen to be um, very intuitive and so I can feel things in my body. So if I'm in the presence of a person or the presence of another animal and I tune into them, I can sense in their, I feel in my body what they are feeling in their body. And I know that sounds pretty woo woo and it's kind of out there for some people, uh, but this is where the art comes in and it's being able to listen to that intuition and being able to go, well, what about this? Or maybe we should try it here. And if you know Brian or I personally, you uh, know um, we're always experimenting. Like we're always experimenting um, with light therapy by itself, with other modalities. And, we're, and so this is my message to you. There is a scientific part of it, and then there is a very creative part of red light therapy. Go out there and be creative with it. And if you get a message, hey, what if we try, you know, red light therapy with e-stim? What would we get? Try it. The beauty of red light therapy is you cannot do any harm, and the, the cool part of it is, is you might get really great results or you might find a, a better, quicker, faster way to get a result that um, we hadn't thought of. So um, go out, experiment with it, play with it, use it, and uh, let us know what you come up with. We'd love to hear how you're playing with it.